about to start another day. I only have two shirts, so we're wearing this one again. But I did do laundry, and the hotel I'm at charges um, 30000 per kilo of laundry. And I did some laundry. It was like 1.6 kilos or something close to that. Either way, it was like under $2 for all my laundry. So I'm pretty excited to get that back. Hella cheap. And we're out to go get a drink and try a different type of food today. I don't think we're gonna get boon cha again, but we'll see. All right, guys, we are starting the morning off with some snail noodles, and this is what it's gonna look like. A lot of things going on here. There's a ton of greens in here, some fried tofus, and there's also a plantain right here. So a plantain banana, which I've never seen in a noodle soup before. But most importantly, there's a ton of snails in here as well. I'm pretty excited for this. There hasn't been any dish I've had quite like this in Vietnam so far. But <clears throat> onto the soup itself. I want to try the plantain first, just because I've never had banana in a soup before. It definitely doesn't have a banana taste at all. Um, it's just like a mushy, plain flavor to me. Of course, I gotta try the noodles so I can get the broth as well. Noodles are pretty plain itself, but the broth is very rich in flavor. The tofu has a great consistency that's going to be perfect for a soup. It's not too crispy or anything. It's nice and soft. You know, the main part of the meal right here is going to be the little snail pieces. So, mm, yep. That's probably why this place is super popular. Like, this place was filled when I got here, and it's not quite filled now, but the seats are definitely piling up. But the snail is not too overpowering on the snail smell or anything. Really great taste. It has a little crunch inside the snail as well. Pretty excited to finish the rest of this. Um, I would rate this eight out of 10. Very good. And it's very unique. I haven't had any other dishes, as I said, like quite like this in Vietnam yet. Um, but I'll keep searching around. I might find a different place like this and scale it a little differently. And I really like that there is bananas, though I think their taste is quite muted. We are at Banh Mi 25 today. Um, it's supposed to be one of the highest rated Banh Mi places in Hanoi. Though I am quite skeptical. I literally see no Vietnamese people in here, so it's probably gonna suck, but we'll see. So it looks like there's a banh mi spot right over there that just brings the banh mi over here. So probably two locations close to each other. This is the banh mi 25, their signature one. Uh, quite small, I'd say. Um, a little smaller than your typical one. So this is gonna be the signature banh mi from Banh Mi 25. It has some pate in it, barbecue, barbecue pork and smoked sausage. As you can see, it's super juicy inside as well. A lot of vegetables. Um, you can choose to get peppers on it as well, but um, I don't want to die of spices, so I chose not to. But yeah, this is what it is, and let's see how it tastes. It is super juicy. Like I can see it doing liquid juiciness droppings. So we're gonna see how it tastes. Um, size wise, my hand is bigger, or sorry, it's bigger than my hand. Um, so I, I'd say it's a pretty good snack size though.
definitely above average of a banh mi taste, I'd say. The meat is really succulent. Um, vegetables taste very fresh as well. The bread is super crispy, yet it's fluffy and soft inside also. Really good bread. Um, overall, the cost was, it looks like 40,000, so a little over a dollar as well. Very good taste. I'd rate this one seven out of 10. Uh, I still like the ones I had in Saigon more. Scratch that after getting closer to the bottom part of this. The pate is super juicy, so I'd rate this probably one more notch, eight out of 10. I didn't see any locals at this place, and to me, that's usually like a red flag if the locals don't eat in the area. Um, but this place was really good, and maybe just the locals eat at the other like side of the shop or whatever, like that, the one that's across the street over here. Um, really good and nice, juicy, great bread. I didn't have the pepper, so I can't say anything of that. And the service is very fast as well. The Bon Mi signature Bon Mi sandwich I had was $40,000, which is under $2 USD. And I'd say it was a eight out of 10. All right, we are at the B Sin Chow Cafe. We're getting this coconut ice cream. It has some mango, strawberries, and also coconut flakes in it as well. And of course it is in a coconut. And this thing was 55,000, so a little over $2 USD. And just look how fresh the fruits are. And as you can see behind me, the fruits are right there. So you know they are not frozen. Oh yeah. I didn't even notice this at the bottom. So there is coconut strips in here as well. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so you can see that they cut the coconut around to get the strips out, and I can keep going further and eat the rest of the coconut meat in there, but the fruit is definitely fresh. It's super cheap, and it's super refreshing, especially on a really hot day like this. I'm like totally sweating right here. Uh, my sunscreen's gonna go in my eyes soon and blind me, but yeah, really good, super fresh fruits. It was hard to find this place because it, they share a sign or they are a sign with a tour company or a group or something like that as well. But yeah, not that many seats, super fresh fruit, really cheap, great for a refreshing day, uh, especially like today where the sun's out. I just met this really cool British chick, but yeah, she, they're traveling too. So it's a really nice to always find other travelers that uh, don't really work just like me. but. The coconut ice cream thing, I finished the entire thing. Really good, nice and refreshing. I'll probably end up popping here again just because it's like really cheap for what it is. But yeah. So I needed to get another shirt because uh, I went to go on a trip with only two shirts. Not a great strategy. A whole bunch of button ups, but I'm not wearing button ups with sweatpants unless yeah, I'm not wearing button up with sweatpants, but I end up going find a street vendor store. They have a lot of different designs. The shirts are 200,000 each. Pretty good, uh, less than $10 or so for a shirt. I ended up going with this one right here in blue. And... Okay. I was randomly going to a cafe and I found the uh, famous Hanoi Train Street. This is gonna be the famous train street in Hanoi. I'm kind of not willing to wait for the train, so I'm just gonna Photoshop the train in, but yeah. And then you can just pretty much, there's a shitload of cafes all over this train street. And there's a train schedule as well, which you can just wait for the train to pop in and take a photo and all that stupid shit. I am walking around and I saw a really cool hotel so I figured I'd uh, take a little video of it. It's this one right here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. There is water going in there. I just thought that was really cool. It has like a water drop effect on the entire wall right there. Who knows if it's clean water, but yeah, really cool effect. And I'm just walking around the town right now to get pretty much to my next destination. We're gonna try some fried banana. But the traffic's pretty bad right now, so we'll see how long it takes me to get there. 
All right, it took me a second because the Google gave me the wrong address across the street, but I have a fried banana. They also have something else called uh, ban kwai. I tried looking it up and it looked like a yam, but the lady said that's not what it was. Um, but yes, here's a fried banana. They said it is the more sweet option of the two that they had, so. Mm, I don't know. Huh? Baminama. Uh, she just told me that she sold this for 30 years and it is 12,000 for this. To put it in perspective, 25,000 roughly is a dollar. So this is around 50 cents for a fried banana. It is so hot. Um, it's really good. There's a crispy outside from the friedness. The inside is soft and chewy. Not super chewy though, and it has a natural sweetness from the banana as well. In terms of uh, just like quick desserts, grab and go, because they already have it done for 12,000, and it, they're nice and hot. I would say this is probably like an eight out of 10. Really quick, nice sweet dessert. Um, probably not the best for a hot day. I just saw it, you know, or well, saw it on the online and felt like getting it because it was pretty close to me. This would pair really well with some like vanilla ice cream or something like that though. Nice and chewy, very banana-y on the inside. I'll get some, you know. It was super hot, so I decided to just get an ice cream. This is Mixuni or Mixun. It is a very popular Vietnamese soft serve chain. They have a lot of other stuff too. And the menu is quite more expensive than that, but I just get the soft serve ice cream. It's like less than 50 cents, like old quick trip McDonald prices.